Let's go catch iguanas. Watch this whole video because I catch one way bigger than this. A fishing pole with a noose at the end of it. The way the noose works is I'm going to put this around their head, pull tight, and then they're caught. Oh! Let's go! Juvenile iguana called Massimo a child abductor. I'm going to put the iguana in some ice. It's going to freeze them, and it's kind of like an anesthesia where I'll kind of just put them out, and they get frozen. They don't move. They don't feel anything. So it's a very humane way to do this. Iguanas are super invasive here in South Florida. They feed on a lot of native species here. That includes animals and plants because they're omnivores. They don't have many predators here, only alligators and hawks, which isn't really enough to control their population. Set it hard. You have them. I need you to hold this, bro. Okay. Yep, you're about to get whipped. Ow! Dude! Oh my God. <laughs> this is the biggest iguana we've caught yet. That's a good day right there. Oh yeah, baby. This is a massive help to the environment. The state of Florida encourages that you do this because there's an infestation. If you're in South Florida and you want to help the ecosystem, go catch some of these right now.